Welcome to the next edition of Tip Tuesday. Following on Malcolm Shum's Tip Tuesday from last week, where he described how to utilize torsion on the back leg to generate power, today I'm going to talk about hip action. Ultimately, you want to be able to deliver a killing technique, in other words, Ichigeki Isatsu, which means to kill with one blow. Now, clearly, I'm not advocating you go out and kill someone, but what I do think we should do, you should be able to do is to deliver a technique that incapacitates someone should the need arise. Key to that is hip rotation, and I'm going to talk you through that. So one of the biggest faults I, I see is that people underutilize the degree of rotation. So for example, when they're angled, they're only sitting at about 45 degrees, and when they're square, in reality, they don't even get to, let's call this, naught degrees. So what I want to show you is to get to 90 degrees, and I'll show you from the side as well, and when you thrust inwards with the hip, you don't stop at 0 degrees, you actually get to about minus 10 degrees. So in other words, your back hip, in this case my right hip, leads my left. However, you do need to keep your shoulders straight, or shoman as it's called in Japanese, and of course pull on that opposite arm. So if you have a look, 90 minus 10, keeping the shoulders at 0 degrees. If you have a look from the side, one of the key tips I'm going to give you is that when you do pull to 90, you don't release your butt. So key to this is pushing your butt through, holding your hip. Can you see I'm pulled out? And then from there, you're able to release. So if you watch from the front, pull it out, release. Have a look at that again. Release. And you can see the power being created. Work on that at home. Hope you enjoyed this week's edition of Tip Tuesday. And please join us next week for Malcolm Sheehan's next tip.